over Ari. <laughs> it's just, you know, you, you, you reminded me of Rowan. You know, Rowan, um, he, he kind of likes my work, but he would, you know, his hope is that I will get more, um, that there will be more engineering involved that will involve like a th interactive aspects with the audience um, um, because he's a nerdish, a nerdish kind of guy. So whenever he goes into a museum and he sees shit like what you're talking about, that's exactly what he says. He says, you know, I could have done this. <laughs> it's like California, it's a huge assemblage process. Basically, island arcs over thousands, millions of years slammed into the side of the U.S. creating California. So it's like, I mean, and as a result, we've got some of the bizarrest, strangest, uh, site-specific um, type of geology that you you only find in a few other places in, on the planet. Yeah. So, okay, then we have a uh, suggestion on the floor. Um, if you want to, like... Uh, sum up your thoughts about the show that we're all participating in and about your own work, then um, why don't we go in turn, I guess. I see, <laughs> I see these people work. Work. <laughs> <laughs> I would not let along the dog. It's a junk on scramble. Are you ready for something new? Check the junk on scramble. Make you happy when you're feeling blue. Turning trash to treasure. On the path to pleasure. Junk on scramble. Watch the junk art scramble. I guess the first show I saw was at the Boise Art Museum, and I saw Tebow. It was Tebow. Tebow. So the first time I saw Tebow, and I saw someone using color in that way, that oh my god! So I thought, wow, this is interesting, but it was still very illustra Ill illustrative, you know. Um, so I, you know, I always thought about drawing, painting, pen and ink work. You know, I, I felt I was not very good at painting because I couldn't control my color like I envisioned it. So I usually stayed with pen and ink, black and white imagery. I was working at a picture frame shop called Down Versini in uh, Berkeley, California and it was Christmas time and we were swapping names for you know giving each other gifts in the shop and the gal that had my name asked me what kind of what I'd be interested in getting and I told well, I was kind of curious about Rosenquist at the time and so I said, well, if you want to get me a book about Rosenquist, that would be cool. Well, she kind of got confused and forgotten. Uh, what I got was a book about Rauschenberg. <laughs> I, I, I actually um, uh, find it very interesting. I, I think one thing that I've learned by moving into the tannery and having a, a space that's bigger than your standard bedroom to, to work with, it's like uh, uh, I'm starting to see spatial ways to to make things and to um, because I'm I'm designing a lot of my own lighting based on found objects and so I'm and I'm trying and I'm arranging furniture in a way that hopefully reflects the strange ang angularity of my own space my own room so I've su suddenly I'm, I'm seeing spatial spaces in Sorry about the redundancy, but the, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing how, how a, a work of art can be presented in a, a space in a, in a sense of it being a, a kind of site-specific arrangement. Did you? <laughs> You're not in the museum. So, um, yeah, it just makes me laugh.